Hi everyone, I hope you all had a really good Easter weekend. Um, mine was really good, I meant to show you my Easter meal because I had a bunch of friends come over but I actually just totally forgot once everyone started turning up it was just like ah oh, blah, blah, drinks 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 so I'm really sorry about that I forgot but next time I have a really good um, dinner party I will show you what I'm gonna make. Hopefully I might give you some ideas. So anyway, today, because it's nearly summer, it feels that way, it's a little bit sunny today, um, I was gonna show you how to make banana ice cream. This recipe has been doing the rounds on social media for quite a while, so you might already know how to do it, but you might be put off because there's a little bit of prep, you're blending frozen stuff, and it might feel a bit like um, scary, I don't know. So I'm just gonna show you just how easy it is bananas first of all bananas are mega mega beneficial they've got masses of minerals and nutrients in them including potassium pectin which is a type of fiber we all know fiber is absolutely brilliant for your digestive system you've got magnesium in there you've got vitamin c and b6 i think or b12 anyway loads of good stuff um they've also got they're also quite high in antioxidants um which is brilliant in terms of um, helping fight against free radicals and free radicals occur in our bodies from like everything like unfortunately even when you're doing exercise that'll trigger free radicals but the more antioxidants you eat the more that they can um, fight the free radicals and get rid of them in your body because we don't want too many free radicals but they are inevitable um, so basically this recipe is super easy does require a tiny bit of prep because you've got to chop up the vegetables I mean chop up the, um, the bananas and put them in the freezer so I'm going to show you my chopped up bananas which I prepared. Actually, I think I put these in, in my freezer a couple of months ago. So you can preemptively know that you're gonna want some banana ice cream one day. Literally, these are our ingredients. We've got my frozen bananas. This was like a bunch of frozen bananas. It's maybe five or six in there. Um, I've got oat milk just because I was already eating some of this, but actually it tastes really good with coconut milk. So I recommend that if you've got a tin of coconut milk, but essentially anything. you don't also massively need it but it just helps it sort of like get going in the blender and I'm putting some cinnamon in mine because I think cinnamon and banana tastes really good um, so I'm just going to pop it in my high-speed blender again you don't massively need to use a high-speed blender for this but it does make it a bit easier but you could use a food processor if you only have a stick blender totally fine use that as well but bear in mind that you might have to let the bananas thaw a little bit because it might uh, it'll just take ages otherwise. So here we go. I think I'm going to put all of them in here. Oh yeah. And then I'll just have to blend it up. It will take quite a while. So I might just pause you guys. Just a splash there. You might have seen. I'm doing all this one handed which I think is pretty impressive. Okay, now a bit of cinnamon. And actually cinnamon with like bananas is brilliant because, um, little fa fun fact, <clears throat> you get, um, obviously bananas are quite high in sugar, which is why I wouldn't recommend that you make banana ice cream all the time because it's, um, you're, you're gonna want to use more than one banana. Um, but cinnamon balances blood sugar. So great to add it in if you're having any kind of like fruit or like high sugary thing, try and add in a bit of cinnamon and it might help balance your blood sugar just a little bit more. Okay, here's my lid. I'm going to put the blender on. It's going to be a little bit noisy for a while. But then afterwards we'll have some delicious banana ice cream. What are these delightful things that uh, Vitamix included in with your purchase? And this is exactly for moments like this. If you're blending something frozen, um, it's not going to sort of like all get all like moldy and melty at the same time. So if you've got like a wooden spoon or something, you could also use that. But this has been specifically measured for the right size for your um, Vitamix, so it's not going to hit the blades. So be super careful. <laughs> A splash more water. I mean oat milk. Just get that going a bit more. There we go. And you're just pushing it all down so it's all nice and blended. that's ready to go. I'm going to show you the consistency now. 
Oh yeah, look at that. So it's like soft serve ice cream. So my banana has been blending for probably about two minutes. I wouldn't say it was much more than that. That is so good. It's like a deliciously sweet soft serve frozen yogurt. It's super, super yummy. Um, and you can do this with any, actually, any frozen fruit. Blueberries, um, which you can buy pretty cheaply in bags. Frozen mango, frozen pineapple, whatever you kind of like preemptively have and you can freeze in your um, freezer for a couple of hours before you want to make it and you're done oh this is so good I'm going to top it with a bit of granola and then have it as my lunch look at this ginormous bowl that looks good I'm excited to tuck into this so give it a go guys let me know what you think let me know um if you try it whether it works for you what you put on it um and then just click the link to subscribe and there'll be loads more videos coming up. I'm actually in Denmark, so I am hopefully going to have loads of amazing foodie adventures there and show you guys. See you soon.